everyone, welcome back to the Beam Wee Bunker. Today is day two of the 31 Days of Horror, and we're looking at the 2017 film Gerald's Game, brought to us by Mike Flanagan. This is an adaptation of a Stephen King novel. Wow, is all I have to say about this one. Um, this is... I have been getting more and more into, I like the psychological horror a lot more than just the typical ghost story or the typical gore fest not saying that those films aren't good or that they're wrong. I'm just saying my personal preference has been going into much more of the psychological horror, and this really, really delivers on that aspect. What we have is we have a couple, and trying to rekindle the flame in their marriage, they go off to this place uh, kind of up in the woods, you know, away from everyone. It's like their vacation home, and decide to be a little kinky. And, of course, uh, the husband then passes away. Um leaving his wife handcuffed to the bed where she begins to hallucinate about many, many things. Um, a big thing that drives this film um, is the actors. Uh, Carla Gugino and Bruce Greenwood, especially Carla, oh my gosh, this performance is absolutely amazing. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it almost makes me wonder if Mike actually did handcuff her to a bed for, for several days and just made her kind of suffer because uh, just the look of her as well as as well as how she acts and how she is behaving i mean the shaking you know the fact that you know she's been handcuffed up and stuff like that is just so well done and we have a very good script now generally stephen king is his hit or miss for me and most of his adaptations for uh, to screen i think for me for the most part have been more miss than hit this one it's an incredibly faithful adaptation of the book um i believe and it's definitely a hit. And this isn't even one of my favorite King novels. Um, it's kind of in, you know, it's an okay novel as far as I was concerned. But this adaptation is phenomenal. And I think a lot of that credit goes to the acting also to Mike Flanagan, who has done some other good, uh, more suspenseful uh, type horror. If you look at like Absentia or Oculus, where I think, you know, it's, it's not just simply this, let's try to scare the shit out of people. Let's scare people in this one with kind of real stuff. Um, and a scale of 1 to 10, this is... It's like every dirty secret that's hidden behind those doors in suburbia. You know, you see this happy family, but you know there's something else going on because no one's that fucking happy. And and that's what this film kind of does. I mean, you've got a lot going on and as, as Carla is like revisiting these demons of her past. And it's just so well acted and so well written... Um, and for some people, we'll sit there and complain because, oh, it's just the same couple of people sitting in one room the whole film. The tension it creates is just phenomenal, and I think that's that's what a lot of horror films miss, is having that tension. It's, it's, it's you know, not everything has to be about jump scares. You can have so much tension just in this little confined space with just one or two people, and Jail's Game shows that, so... That's all I've got for this one. Until next time, stay safe out there in the wasteland, folks.